everyone, this is Dr. Rene Gutierrez, superintendent of the McAllen Independent School District. Today, we are going to be visiting the Child Nutrition Program. The Child Nutrition Program in our school district is a very important department because they serve all the meals for our students in elementary, middle school, and high school. They provide breakfast and lunch, and many times after school snacks. He plays a very important role in our school district, and with me, I have our Child Nutrition Director, Ms. Sonia Esquivel, who's going to show me around what's going on behind the scenes with our Child Nutrition Program and the meals that they prepare on a daily basis. This is our uh, central kitchen where we uh, prepare thousands of meals for our students every day. And so as you can see here, this is a little bit of an assembly line where um, they, Hello. Hello. they are preparing Hello. for our construction schools to receive their lunches or dinners oh, okay. on a daily basis. All right. Now, once they prepare these trays, they are uh, taken to the campuses? Correct. Okay. They're, they're, they're stored in uh, hot trays or hot warmers okay. and held and then transported to the schools for service. Very nice, very nice. It's amazing the number of meals that uh, we prepare. 15,000 in the morning, 15,000 at noon. So you're looking at a total of about 30,000 meals per day. Which equals out to about 6.1 million meals in a regular school year, not over, including our summer program. Over 6 million meals on a yearly basis when you total everything up on yes, the sir. number of days yes, that sir. the kids come to school. Wow. Mr. Esquivel, uh, wow, this is one of my favorite meals when I was in school, pizza. <laughs> you cannot go wrong when That's you right. serve pizza. This is the best pizza that you can have in town. And uh, so can you tell me about uh, the nutritional requirements? I know that there are some requirements that we need to follow yes, for sir. our students. And as much as we like pizza, it has to have a certain ingredients or requirements before we can serve it. So Correct. can you tell me more about it? Yes, sir. So one of the one of the challenges we always have as a department, right, is that we want to ensure that kids are receiving the food that they love to eat, like pizza, right? Okay. Um, but also, like you mentioned, you know, that we're complying with USDA nutritional standards. And so everything that we purchase uh, for the child nutrition program falls within that category. Gracias por lo que hacen y, y síguenle adelante. Okay? Gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias. <laughs> okay, so this is where is the freezers, and as you can see, it's an industrial type of a freezer where all the food is kept uh, cold, frozen, until it's ready to serve. So tell me more about it. Sure, it's cold. It's a little cold, <laughs> but we'll do it. All right, so yeah, so this is where we store uh, all of our food. We are able to receive directly from a lot of our manufacturers okay. because we have such a big storage. Uh, so on pizza, we just talked about pizza, we're able to order over 600 cases okay. of pizza monthly that come directly from okay. the manufacturer to our uh, central warehouse here. So uh, this is now the warehouse, and can you tell me more about the warehouse uh, and, and the items that we keep in here? Yes, sir. So this is our what we consider our dry storage. And so again, you know, we, we have a big enough uh, storage area that uh, we're able to receive. We probably have anywhere between 12,000, 13,000 cases it, being held in our hold uh, warehouse. So like I like to say, this kind of acts like uh, uh, we act like the SAMs of our department. What we have here is uh, the delivery trucks. This is the delivery area or also the pickup area Correct. because uh, we're standing right here on a ramp. Uh, this is the inside of a truck. Obviously, we have several of these trucks, if you can see around. They pick up the meals and, yes. they, and they deliver to the campuses. So can you tell me a little more about this delivery area and pickup area? Sure. Uh, our department has 10 delivery trucks. Um, where we're able to, you know, support any campus for anything uh, that they might need. Um, so for the most part, we have routes that go out daily okay. uh, to go deliver hot food, go deliver weekly orders, bi-weekly orders to campuses. Like uh, Warehouse was saying, they get orders, they fill them, and then we have uh, schedules for those to go out. And it's very important to have a meal program for our kids because that's how they're going to learn better in the classroom. And so thank you for thank being you. part of the instructional process in yes, the sir. school district as well. Yes, sir. Thank you.